Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Lightning Web Component series. So if you want to watch any other videos of LWC, do visit the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can use spinners and toast messages in Lightning Web Components. So using of a spinner in Lightning Web Component is very easy. You just need to include this Lightning Spinner into your HTML file right so and uh, you need to wrap this spinner uh, using some boolean uh, variable so that you can uh, switch on and off this spinner right so yeah so you have included this spinner and then you can make this uh, flag true or false according to your need okay so we'll see how we can implement this into our uh, salesforce org so we'll go to VS code so we already have created a contact list component so in this component uh, using at the rate, sorry uh, using imperative call uh, we get the list of a contacts and assign this to this account list variable right and using the uh, for iteration we display this list into uh, our HTML file fine so what I'll do is I'll just add a spinner over here We'll give an alternative text to it. And we'll wrap this into an if statement, okay? If true, fine, give a class to it if require we can apply styling also to this we'll place this inside this template tag we'll declare this variable in our javascript file and we'll give a default value as false to this so that when component is loaded the spinner is not displayed and when I click on this get contact list button we'll make this as true and once I get response from server I'll make it as false okay that's it so we don't have to do anything else uh, we have just included our spinner and wrapped it uh, with the boolean variable and we are making it true and false according to our need okay so we'll deploy this code to salesforce org and let's see how this works okay we'll go to the browser and refresh this so we can see we have a button over here on click of this button see we can see the spinner right now it's not getting away because we haven't made this as false we have just copied it as true right we'll save the changes and move it to salesforce org refresh this now if I click on button see we can uh, see the spinner being displayed over here for some period of time till uh, the server is uh, still the response is received from the server okay so we'll go to next thing toast messages in lightning web components so uh, again toast messages using of toast messages is very easy in lightning web component so we have a standard event show toast event in lightning web component which we can import from lightning slash platform show toast event library okay so once we have implement 
once we have imported this event we just need to create the instance of this event with uh, desired parameters right so parameters are like title of a event then whatever message we want to display over this toast message uh, then what is the variant of this toast message whether it's a error message or a success message or info message and whether this uh, toast message is dismissible or not right so after creation of an instance uh, we can dispatch this event using this dot dispatch event and then a name of this toast message right so we'll go to our vs code and implement this fine so we'll just import this show toast event sorry it has to be lightning slash platform show toast event okay and then we need to create instance of this event so we'll create an instance over here name is constant toast event equal to new show toast event fine and we'll assign a parameter to it so it has to be title message Put message uh, contact list updated successfully the variant is success next is mode so we'll make it as dismissible And we'll dispatch this event. This dot dispatch event. Toast event. Okay. Why well, it's giving us error? Unexpected token semicolon. platform show to event is correct okay so it has to be constant in a small case right also we'll create another event inside a catch also so that we can display error message if some error is returned from the server side right we'll save our changes and deploy this to salesforce org So code has been deployed successfully. We'll go to our web browser and refresh this page. So if I click on this get contact method, 
okay i'm not getting a toast message here because this event will not work in an aura application so we need to create a targets for this so that we can use this inside a lightning record or home page targets let's underscore home page we'll save the changes and deploy this to our salesforce org okay we'll go to salesforce org has been deployed successfully we'll go to our home page of a sales application right what's our component name contact list CMP okay we'll edit this page So we can see the, our component contact list CMP over here. We'll just add it over here and save the changes. We'll go back to our home page. Now if I click on this button, see we can see the toast message contact list updated successfully. Also we were able to see the spinner, right? So we'll refresh this page once again to check if we can see the spinner or not. See, we can see the spinner and toast messages both, right? So it's very easy to use toast messages and spinner in Lightning Web Components. Fine. So this is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Do let me know your suggestions and views in the comment section. Also subscribe to our channel for more videos on Lightning Web Component.